All right, so it's recording now. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the brothers from uh, Great Millstone, Chicago Branch, coming to you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiel Shai. First and foremost, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Also, salutations to all you Akim across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. And I'm um, with the brothers here, and um, the brother, the elder, Karak, and uh, the brother, Dr. Zakia, and I'm the brother, Ramaki. And we're just going to do a quick lesson, you know, going into, you know, what we've been called into. You know, we've been called into a holy organization. I think that's what I said. Yeah, earlier. yeah. Yep. You know, we've been called into a holy organization because what we're actually responsible for rebuilding the nation of Israel, man. All right, and the nation of Israel consisted of what? It was a business. It was it consisted of spirituality. All right, uh, council, war, all of that because we're rebuilding the the nation. What does it say? We're the repairs of the breach. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Amos, yeah. Amos nine. Yep. All right. So and, and then, so we shouldn't be ashamed of it because what we're profess we're, we're we've we've been called into a good profession, you know. Like uh, if you can get it, brother. Uh, so like, you know, I was gonna get that one prepared. Oh no, no, get that if you can. Whatever. Yeah, this is, um, oh, let so me like uh, let me let me get to it real quick. It's Amos nine eleven. Yeah, not no. nine and what? No, this one's actually um, Isaiah fifty eight and twelve. Oh, okay, kind Isaiah fifty eight um, and twelve. Let me know when I, I can read it. Okay. But I'm quoting the, the other one, right? Right, right. Ain't, ain't it Amos 2? Yeah, there's... Oh, okay, kind. Yeah, these link up together. Yeah. Okay, kind. Okay, I got you. Um, Isaiah. I'm there, brother. Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12, and it reads, And they that shall be of thee shall build the old ways places. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of... Path to dwell in, right? Right. So, you, you got, got it. it. Right. So we're repairing what? What has been destroyed by the other nations, which is what the nation of Israel. All right. Yeah. Our uh, our nation has been completely demolished by who? He saw Edom. Yeah, it says, it says we discontinued from our heritage. Man. From our heritage. Yeah. We've been a no people. That's why we've been calling ourselves black, uh, so-called Latino, so-called Native American. Why? Because we have the Lord uh, took away our nationality due to what? Iniquity and sin, mm -hmm. so he put he turned his uh, he turned his back to us. Yeah. He said it says in the scriptures the Lord is a power that hideth himself. He's hid himself from us, but now through the Spirit, he's uh, through Yahweh Shemiah Shai through his Son. All right, he's pouring the Spirit back into us, which is that water, which is his truth. Yes. So we're we're uh, we're being set up to reestablish our nation, and the, the the nations don't believe it, but like in the book of Hosea, it said in the land of our captivity we. It, or basically, it's roughly paraphrasing. It said it says that uh, in the land, the land of captain, we re should remember Christ, ourselves. The Baruch, that's Baruch, and then the Hosea says you should be called uh, I, in the place where it say yep. you are not my people. Yep. There it should be said you are the sons of the living power. Yep. Right, because the Lord is uh, returning unto us. The Lord is uh, setting us back up. Uh, you know, it. yeah, it's that time, man. Because you know, Scripture tell you in Isaiah forty-seven, the Lord said He polluted our heritage yep. by using these other nations, man. Right. You know, so now the Lord is um, see Lord working on timeline. Now it's time for us to come back to our heritage. He's building us back up again, man. That's right. All right, you got some brother. Yeah, uh, the Amos nine and eleven. Okay, let me go I'll to it real quick. This links up with that uh, scripture in uh, the Isaiah fifty-eight that we just read. Con, con. And it, uh, reads Isaiah Amos or uh, Slaki. No, Amos chapter nine verse eleven. <laughs> Amos 9 and 11, and it reads, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Because mm -hmm. yeah, they the elders just said, hey, the Lord said that he would what? Pollute our heritage. You know? And ultimately the Lord destroyed us. Okay? But now what's the Lord doing? It says here, um, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Okay, and in these last days, the Lord has raised up whom? His men. Alright? He woke up the prophets to do what? Preach his word, all right, to gather the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel all right? And as the scriptures say, we become what? Fishers of men? Yep. You know? And how we, uh, and what's the debate? This word. And it says in the book of Baruch, the, uh, I believe it's the fourth chapter, that the Lord is going to gather his sons from the east and to, from the west, all right, by the word. 
all kind. Uh, roughly was, paraphrasing it. Was Brook four or five? It was one of them chapters? Yeah, I, I, I believe it's a Brook the four chapter Con. around the last two verses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna read this again. Amos nine and eleven. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise it up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Right. So the Lord is reestablishing what. Uh, the judge it tells you in the scriptures as a precept to that is what I will restore the judges as at the first. Yep. <laughs> so uh, a, a lot of us men waking up in the last days, you know, we're the elect, we're the same rulers that ruled in the ancient world. Yeah. In righteousness. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is raising up them same spirits to do what? Be reestablished to what? Rule the nation again. Isaiah the sixty chapter, the sixtieth chapter says the light is risen upon thee. That's that. That's that truth. All right, that's the, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, which the world doesn't have or comprehend. That's you know? it, because the Lord don't simply don't want them to get it. Right. Because the scriptures say um, Israel had not obtained that which they seek it for, mm -hmm. but the, the elect had uh, obtained it. The Lord only want the elect to get this knowledge right right, right now, man. Right. It starts with them, and then the, the two-thirds going to uh, come through well, through whoever the elect is, two thirds gonna come in. You know, right. yeah, they gonna be saved. Point. Yeah, yeah, through the loins, man. Right. You know, but, and they'll get it. You know, the yep. second, you know, a go around. Okay, that's it. The scriptures say what all Israel shall be saved. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and then also um, it talks about the second covenant in Jeremiah, the thirty-first uh, chapter, and also Hebrews the eighth chapter it talks about that new covenant, which it says that we're gonna have what the laws, in, you know, basically instilled in our minds. It's gonna be basically all. Uh, everything that's written, you know, the law, statutes, commandments, it's going to be first nature to us. Right. We're just going to perform it. We're going to be perfect. That's it, you bro. Know? That's what I was telling you, Hebrews. You know, we won't be teaching yep. each other no more because we all Israel going to have it, man. Right. When the Lord write the, the law, statutes, commandments in us, man. Mm -hmm. All right. I got that Timothy, if your brothers want it. Okay, okay calm. Uh, it's First Timothy 6 and 12. First, okay. Um. Uh, yeah, you got to, uh, but brothers, you got to remember, this is a holy organization here, man. All right? You know, you can't, you know, bring, um, you know, that old man into the, you know, into the mix of the, you know, of this. Okay? You got to, uh, um, you know, be that new man as the scriptures talk about. You got to put off the old man. Right. All right? Really remember that, brothers. You okay? said mortify your members. Mm-hmm. You know? Because this is something very special. This is... This is a this is a heavenly uh, thing that's going on right now. That's it. Okay. Because uh, the script talk about being born again, man. Yep. So when the Lord wake you up to see that this is the truth, you supposed to put off that old man. All the bullshit you learned in the world, you supposed to forget about. You supposed to be like a newborn baby again, man. Oof. I'm gonna read up a verse above. I, this is uh, actually, I'm gonna start here. This is a First Timothy six and eleven. But thou, O man of the Most High. Yahweh. It says, flee these things. Okay, and then when you read up above, it talks about, uh, you know, uh, wicked things, okay? This is what it says here. And follow after what? Righteousness, right. godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Yeah, so flee. Hey, we just, it's funny, we just talking about putting off the old man, man. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to flee. Like, I'm looking at love of money, you know, and all that, you know. That's that's part, that's of the world, man. Yeah, but when you go up above, it talks about pride. Pride, yeah. Okay. Yep. Which pe these people. <laughs> Envy. <laughs> yeah, you know that that's the world. These people are full of pride. Those who are not in this truth, they full of goddamn pride. And you know the scriptures say, pride goes before destruction. So they, Lord going to destroy these pride. And what, and we just, me and the brothers just talking about it, man. We talking about how these women are proud. We see why the Lord hates a prideful, it, it, shit, man to hate pride, uh, a prideful motherfucker, man. You can't stand nobody who's full of pride, man. You can't even talk to somebody that has pride. Yeah. You try to tell them something that's beneficial for them, and you, it's just something basic, and, and they'll re, they'll somehow reject you, and it's just it's that benefit uh, of them. Mm -hmm. It's not even gonna benefit you. You're just trying to help them in their walk, and since they're so prideful, they can't even hear it, and that's why you can't even talk to somebody that has pride. That's why. Because they, they have no. Uh, 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 um, man, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Like any type of, they don't have a sense of reality, basically. That's it. They, you know? they run away from reality. That's why, that's part. That's one of the main reasons why two thirds gonna be destroyed because you can't tell them them. Here it is, you trying to, they, they finna fall off the cliff. You trying to 
hold on to them, keep them far off clip. They 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 slap your hand. Oh, motherfucker. Right. You know, so this word is is, is supposed to heal them, man. Right. But they don't want the healing. Yeah. Right. We, right. we, we were talking about that. Mm-hmm. A lot of our people, they don't, actually don't want healing. Because they, why? They want to continue in wickedness. That's it. And that's why they love their daddy Esau eating them. Because they give them license to sin, man. He, he let them do whatever they want. Which, hey, that's what Esau want anyway. Because as long as you niggas keep going off, I could continue to have my foot sideways up your ass. The Lord never come deliver your ass. But Lord, do we saw Edom know? You know, you're not gonna. Um, the Lord has His elect, and they're gonna return unto Him. That's all the Lord needs. Right. You know, to bring you. The Lord already been planning on destroying the two thirds, man. What's that? Uh, they say what? A few good men. Mm-hmm. That's all the Lord needs. A few good men. Yep. You know. Okay. But, God, you go ahead, yeah, God. I got um, next verse. Uh, First Timothy six and twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. And how do you do that? Okay. A, uh, uh, yeah, you, you eat of the, what is that, the, 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 the tree of, um, you eat that fruit of um, of immortality, man, which are it's, it's, uh, these scriptures, man. Okay. Because this gives you what? Life. All right. All right. So you're supposed to lay hold on that. You, you, hey, you're supposed to want these things. Right. You're, you're supposed to want to do what? Live a lifestyle instead of a death style. Okay. It. You're not supposed to be like the people in this world. Yeah, That's why they. This is a holy organization, man. Yeah, you because po- we're, holy means what? Separate. I often say that, brother. You Come took on. the <laughs> words right out of my mouth. You supposed to be separate from these heathen nature. You two thirds won't continue acting like the heathens, man. Mm-hmm. Come on. And it says, "Where unto thou art also called, and has pros- professed a good profession before many witnesses." Right. Cause what? This is a we have the best job. We have a we have the best job over the president of the United States. Oh yeah. The best job over the the, the banking families, the governors, the mayors. <laughs> this is a profession. So people, you know, it, it's crazy because people would be like, "You guys are bums. You don't get a job." We got the best job on the earth, in the universe. You know, that's what it says there. Hey, so we you bums, know? but you <laughs> see, is what a phone camcorders. You know how right. how how, how cars. Bu- cars how bum get that? Families taking care of families have money. You but people are f- assholes. You people are just they, they just fucking ass. jealous and yeah. full of shit, and you can't get it. That's all. That's it. it. They they, yeah. they don't have. They know they don't have what it takes, man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't have integrity. Yeah. They don't have uh, discipline. That's it. And they, they hate they, they hate you for having that, and they don't. Right. Because yeah. it's easy to hate. Yeah. It's easy to hate. Especially if you're not doing something, you know what I mean? That's right. it. Hey, hey, think about, like, for just, you know, currently speaking, right? Think about all these, like, top professionals, right? You know, you think about, like, the top, uh, you know, singers, the top athletes, you know what I mean? They always have, you know, haters, right. you know? They nitpick the, the smallest little thing about these individuals. Because it's easy to do that. Mm-hmm. That's why, if somebody in their right mind, you always got to, if you're in your right mind, you have to admit, like, well, you know what, man? Hey, you know they're they're great. You know this guy's are great because he can dance, he can sing. You know he he's you know a good professional. You know he's good. You know with his fans, like you gotta admit these things. Right. You, you may not like his music completely, but hey, you know what? You gotta admit that he does X Y Z, and this is why he's great. Right. You know, yeah, but they, see these people, they don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, because right. like I said, it all go back to jealousy, man. Yeah. You know, he think he he think he better, so that's why they nitpick right. any little thing, man. We are better shit. We have more yeah. integrity than you. Mm-hmm. We want to better ourselves. Which this is just the Jake, the two, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You heathen shit. <laughs> you just hate them because you you found out that we're better than you through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And you know, you mad the Lord ain't dealing with you. And which that's dealing with you that's your own, that's your own fault. Right. You say you would think, hey man, fuck it, Cain and Abel, which that's Esau in the reincarnation. Hey, Lord, it said, let favor be shown to wicked, but then when I learn righteousness, man. Right. Lord gave you a chance. He gave Cain a chance. He told you what to uh, sacrifice. You're right. going to give him fruit, man. And then get mad because the Lord rejected it and ain't dealing with you. Right. See, Esau, he's about want to do whatever the hell he want to do, and you still supposed to accept his red ass. Right. Well, that's the shit. Not in this time, man. That's it. <laughs> Is it a, um, it's like a definition for a profession? Let me look it up. Okay. Um, give me one moment. Give me one moment. I'll get what was that? First. First Timothy six and twelve. First Timothy six and twelve. Give me 
one moment. Gotta pull it up. All right, concordance. All right, let's get this real quick. What was it? you said? Profession, right? Uh, this is the word profession, which is G thirty six seventy one, and it is homologia. That's that's the word for it. That's in the Greek homologia, and it's uh, it says here profession subjectively whom we profess to be ours profession confession Ooh. what one professes confesses Ooh. what are we doing we're confessing what that we're the israelites that we're about to rule that our lord's coming back that this place yeah. is fucking over and finished mm -hmm. and that we're about to rule and yeah. rule the world in righteousness so everything is profitable no no keep going up high. a little bit more you're gonna block Huh? You're gonna block the uh, the cars. Well, you're gonna drive on the grass. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I was gonna say this, cause uh, it says confesses, right? Um, mm. The scriptures talk about in Second Ezra that what that the Lord He's going to crown those that you know confess His name, that stood so stiffly for the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know. And those men, they, 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 they're holy, man. They're not normal men, right. basically. Okay. The elect aren't normal men. They're not of this world. Right. All right. That's it. And see that that's the thing. These people, they're 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 mad that that we're becoming these men. All right. Yeah, because scripts say misery. You know, misery loves company. Since you don't run in the same access to riot, they won't speak evil of you, man. All right. All right. Yeah, you know, that's what it is, man. You know, because the wicked um, have pla. They just don't like to do the wickedness themselves. They want other people to join them. If you ain't willing to do that, now they won't demonize you and make fun of you. Right. Because we're what? We want to be, uh, through the spirit, we're, we're being groomed to be leaders. We're not followers of the people of this world, man. We're not the ways in this world, man. And the Lord told us not to do that. Follow not multitude to do evil. You yeah, know? Like, yep. So, y'all had anything else? Nah, that's it. Continue to do what you do. Through the spirit, brothers around the world, because we're professing a, a great profession, man. All right, the Lord is grooming us to be leaders, man. And the world, the world is mad because it's so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that want to lead the next world. Can I say this too? Okay. It's not only just that; it's because we're doing it right in righteousness. Right. That's exactly. what ultimately what they're mad about. It's not in wickedness. That's what what these people are very, uh, upset about. Because the way we're returning to what the old paths. Okay, the righteous ways. And these ways are going to put everything in order. It's going to be an uh, 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 everlasting kingdom. And they're mad about it because they, when they had their chance, right, their shot, they, they fumbled, basically. Mm -hmm. They messed up. And now they see us getting our houses in order, as order as the scriptures say, and they're upset about that. Right. That's it. But they, the heathen are going to envy, and they can't do nothing about it. Yeah, that's the hell with them, man. That's it, bro. And, and that's why they want to... As far as accuse, falsely accuse you, man. Yep. Cause they can't, cause they, they shit, they, they they can't find nothing on you. So what, what's, who's that? Love. Like, oh, okay, con. <laughs> they can't find nothing on you. So what's the next th best thing? I'm just gonna lie on you. This actually. All right. So. You wait. Con, con. So you know, Lord willing, that was edifying. The world's not gonna stop this. Uh, this awakening. All right. This is the profession that the Lord gave us, man, and we gotta stay. Adhere to it. That's it. We're hey. the new leaders of the new world, Lord willing, under hey. Yahweh Shai. Hey, you said something. You said there ain't no, nothing you can do to stop it because this is of the Lord, man. Right. It said you, you, if it's of the Lord, you can't overthrow it, man. That's it. And gates of hell should not prevail really against it. it. That's it. That's it. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. We want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechabadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Shalom. Shalom. Damn, Lahab.